The beginning of the 20th century marked a new era in naval shipbuilding. Russia also followed the trend. In June 1909, St. Petersburg, four dreadnoughts of the Russian fleet were laid down. They were the Sevastopol-class battleships, quite powerful for their time. Battleship Petropavlovsk did not manage to demonstrate the power of her artillery in World War I. But after the October Revolution, she sided with the Bolsheviks and in 1919 engaged British ships. Petropavlovsk also participated in other military operations during the Russian Civil War. During the White Guard mutiny in the Krasnaya Gorka Fort in 1919, battleship Petropavlovsk fired 568 305 mm shells. You can imagine the scope of destruction inflicted by Petropavlovsk primary armament salvos upon the fort. However, two years later, she opened fire at Krasnaya Gorka once again, only this time as a rebel, supporting the mutiny in Kronstadt. After the Kronstadt's events of 1921, the Bolsheviks hastily renamed the rebellious battleship. She was called Marat in honor of the French revolutionary. The ship was fighting in World War II from day one, defending Kronstadt and Leningrad against German air raids. By September, German troops approached the city and entered the effective area of Marat's primary armament guns. The battleship cracked down on the enemy with her devastating artillery fire. On September 23, 1941, about 40 German aircraft simultaneously attacked Kronstadt. Two half-ton bombs fell on the battleship during the raid. Germans decided that Morat was destroyed. However, only five weeks later, the third and fourth turrets of the battleship opened fire on the enemy again. The battleship, which recovered her original name, Petropavlovsk, continued to fight the German troops until the siege of the city was lifted. 